I'm starting off with the Bravon Magnetic Eye Primer, and this is going to be a base for the shadow, prevent creasing, bring out the pigments, and help cancel out any redness on the lid. The first shadow I'm going to use is Marble Eyeshadow from the Laura Geller palette, and I'm going to apply this with a fluffy brush underneath the highest point of my brow. This is Creme Brulee Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to sweep this back and forth in my crease and blend up to my brow highlight for a transition color. The next shadow I'm going to use is Midnight Eyeshadow, and it's a gorgeous charcoal gray color. And I'm going to sweep this back and forth in my crease. I'm starting off with a little bit of product because when you're working with dark colors, sometimes less is more and it's easier to blend and build up the color. I found it was easier working in sections with the shadow so I worked on the outer half of my crease and then moved to the inner half of my crease and connected them. It's almost like you're creating a halo around your eye. Carbon is the next color I'm working with and I'm just going to pack this on the outer half of my lower lid and then move on to the inner half of my lower lid. And this is gonna really smoke up the look. I'm not applying any shadow on the center of my lid because I'm going to apply a sparkly, brighter shadow in the center. So keep that area bare for now. I'm going back with that black shadow and smudging that right in the crease just to smoke out the look and get rid of any harsh edges. Next I'm taking this gorgeous shadow called Graphite and I'm going to pack this on the center of my lid with a flat eyeshadow brush. I love this technique when you apply the lighter shadow in the center of the lid because it really makes your eyes look rounder. I decided to spray my brush with some Fix Plus and pat some more of that silver on the center of the lid to make the shadow appear more metallic. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm just creating a winged line for this look. I'm actually gonna work with two mascaras in this tutorial. So the first one is from Laura Geller. This is the Fortifying Lashes Eye Primer. I really like this as a base and it really helps separate my lashes. It's my first time using it, but I love it. The next one is the Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. This is another favorite of mine and this really helps build up your lashes and make them nice and full. I'm gonna try a new style of lashes and these are the Divas from Coco Lashes. I liked how wispy and long they were and I thought this would be perfect so the halo look that we're going for with the eyes really showed through the lashes. And after applying them, it was really easy to apply, the band was very thin and I ended up really liking how they turned out. Now I'm going to move on to the complexion and I'm going to prep my skin with the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer and this one is in the color Champagne. This will make my foundation go on smoother, last longer, and it gives a really pretty glow to the skin. Next up is the foundation, and I'm using the Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation, and I use the color Sand. I also like to apply this with a flat brush because I feel like I get the best coverage. This is the Real Deal Concealer in the color Medium, and I'm going to use this underneath my eye area to brighten. And this is more of a thicker concealer, so little goes a long way. I probably used a little too much in this tutorial, but I just kind of blended it out. Um, spread it out on my chin and the center of my forehead just to brighten and highlight those areas. I like to blend concealer out with a damp beauty blender. I usually spray my sponge with some Fix Plus from MAC, and it just makes everything blend out easier. I've been playing around with a new Ofra Banana Powder and I use this underneath my eyes or anywhere on my face where I want to set and because the yellow tone it does help brighten around my face. The 
This is the Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation from Laura Geller, and I just like to set certain areas on my face with a fluffy brush to keep everything in place and just add a tiny bit more coverage. To finish up my eyes, I'm taking this blueberry eyeshadow, which is so gorgeous, and I'm just smudging this underneath my eye area just to smoke it up and add a pop of blue. I decided I wanted that blue to stand out a little bit more, so I sprayed my smudger brush with some Fix Plus just to intensify that blue. I found this Buxom Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Pick Me Up, and I just applied this to my waterline just to make that blue stand out even more. I really want the blue to be the focus of the eyes. Then I went ahead and added a few coats of mascara to my lower lashes. To add more color to my complexion, I'm using the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables Water Resistant Bronzer and I'm just applying this to the usual areas, the temples, underneath my cheekbones, top of my forehead, and underneath the jaw. This is the Baked Highlighter Duo in French Vanilla and Portofino, and I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus to intensify this highlight. I'm going to apply it to the tops of my cheekbones for a super intense highlight. You can see this highlight from like a mile away. I'm also gonna apply that highlight on the side of my nose. Then I'm gonna take the other side of the highlighter and I'm going to use this on the bridge of my nose and then on my temples because this highlight is a little bit softer. You can also apply it on your cupid's bow to make your lips a little bit fuller. I'm taking my baby stripped down lip pencil from MAC. This is one of my favorites so I go through it pretty quickly. And I'm going to outline my lips with this color. Last but not least, I'm taking the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D, and this is a new favorite nude of mine, and this is called Bow and Arrow. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this first tutorial of 2016. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.